Reiki. Reiki is probably a little bit less known from by people. But reflexology is becoming a little bit more well known. But Reiki is entirely energy based, and this is um, goes back to what I was saying about how the body works with energies and how uh, Reiki works with energies. This is basically just transferring energy from the practitioner to the recipient, and once you're attuned to the Reiki energies, you can detect where the weak areas are on the body, and you're able to channel that energy through to those people in those, in those weaker areas, and it has the same effect as reflexology in terms of the healing aspect. And again, it balances the mind and body at the same time. It's known as the life force energy, which is a universal energy form that exists all around us, and basically what the practitioner is doing is they're just channeling themselves to receive energy um, from, the, from the universe and you're channeling it through your own body into the, the patient. Okay? And it was developed by Dr. Mikawa Yusui in the early 20th century in Japan. It's been developed since then. But a form of Reiki, again, has been around for thousands of years. Okay, so the body can be revitalized and rebalanced by a Reiki practitioner just through their hands, once they've been attuned to the process. And it can be a very pleasant and relaxing experience. And a lot of uh, my clients will, will tell me that they, they feel almost as if they're floating on the, uh, on the chair of the, uh, the lafuma that I use. They feel um, a different kind of relaxed. Some people even feel uh, or see images in their mind, bright colours, vivid, very vivid colours. Um, and it's just a different kind of relaxed experience. And it's almost the same in many ways to, to being under a hypnothera hypnotherapy trance. You are in an almost like an altered state a little bit. So it's, it's quite meditative, it's quite and therapeutic in that way. And you'll feel things around your body, you might feel energy actually while it's happening. Okay, very safe treatment and can help with most physical and mental disorders. Particularly effective in improving acute physical injuries over a short time. You know, like if you've got a bad back, back uh, a shoulder, something like that, you can do focused work on those particular areas and you'll see a marked improvement, you know, almost immediately. Okay. So again, clients often report positive cha um, changes in their state of mind as well as the physical well-being after treatments. Okay, this is just something that I'm... Uh, I'm doing as well. If anybody's interested in training as a Reiki practitioner or just wants to learn more about it for their own use, I, I'm a level four Reiki master, which is Reiki master teacher, which is the highest level you can have, which basically means that I've received the training to pass it on to others so I can attune other people in these energies. And once you've done level one, you can go on to level two and level three. And level three is the master level. But um, to go to level three, you need to be quite serious about the whole process. Level one will allow you to do self-healing and healing on others, healing on animals, but not charge uh, money for that. Okay, level two will allow you to become a, a practitioner and receive payment for, for what you do. Okay?